Once upon a time in the 1960s, there was a hot spring in the Yellowstone National Park. Within the hot spring existed the world known as the world of Thermos Aquaticus. There was an adventurous princess named Thelma of the Thermos Aquaticus. She would venture up slightly below the surface of the hot springs and gaze upon the sky, sun, green trees, and tan sand. Her father, King Theodore of the Thermos Aquaticus the Hundredth, forbid Princess Thelma to ever go out of the waters or even near the surface. One day, Princess Thelma went near the surface of the hot spring. There she saw a man. On the man's hand was the most handsome bacteria she had ever seen. He was unique, a little round for her type, but definitely handsome. They made eye contact. What is your name? She yelled. Staphon of the Staphylococcus epidermidis. Yours? Thelma of the Thermus Aquaticus. What brings you here? My human, Thomas Brock, is here to collect samples from this hot spring. If you are collected, perhaps we can talk more. I... I don't know... Princess Thelma! Startled, Princess Thelma looks back to see her father's faithful servant, Thiago. Thiago fiercely demands Princess Thelma to return back to the castle. Princess Thelma sadly says goodbye to Stefan. Come back in a couple of hours if you wish to be collected. Thiago tells King Theodore what happened. King Theodore is outraged and tells Princess Thelma that her and Stefan can never be. Heartbroken, she leaves to her room. Thiago feels bad, for Princess Thelma did not know why her and Stefan could never be. To explain why, he puts together a presentation to remind her of just how different the world of Thermos Aquaticus is from Stefan's world. He calls Princess Thelma to come watch the presentation in the science classroom of the castle. Thermos aquaticus are non-motile rods that can form long filament morphology when in optimal temperatures or in the stationary phase. When separate cells come together in association, spherical shapes or rotund bodies are formed. Gram stain negative. Phylogeny. Ecology, ecological role, metabolism, and life cycle. Thermos aquaticus prefer a growth temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. Thermos aquaticus can commonly be found in hot springs. Thermos aquaticus are chemolithotrophs, and they are aerobic. Thermos aquaticus are dissimilative sulfur oxidizers. They oxidize reduced sulfur compounds such as these below as electron donors, H2S, elemental sulfur, thiosulfate, and thiocyanate. Thermos aquaticus reproduce asexually through binary fission. Figure 5.3 from Brock's Book of Microorganisms show an example of binary fission. Enzymes and proteins in Thermos aquaticus are heat stable. They contain a high number of ionic bonds between basic and acidic amino acids. They also have a high hydrophobic interior. These characteristics will help the proteins from unfolding. In figure 4.21 from Brock Biology of Microorganisms, you can see here pictured is the RNA polymerase of Thermos aquaticus. It contains five different subunits, beta, beta prime, Alpha, 
omega, and sigma. Tag polymerase. Tag polymerase is a thermostable DNA polymerase isolated from Thermus aquaticus. It is stable to 95 degrees Celsius, which makes it unaffected by the denaturation step in PCR. Figure 11.6 from Brock's book of microorganisms show reverse transcription PCR. In the last step, you can see addition of primers specific to 5'N plus tag polymerase. Genomic sources for the following restriction enzymes include TAA1, TAI1, TAG1, TAS1, TAT1, and TAT1. Thermus aquaticus lives in association with cyanobacteria. They get their energy from cyanobacteria and other photosynthesizing bacteria as well. Figure 5.24 shows the growth of thermophilic cyanobacteria in a hot spring in Yellowstone National Park. Notice the thermophilic cyanobacteria also like to grow around 70 to 73 degrees Celsius, same as Thermus aquaticus. Wow, Princess Thelma said and all, we are so special. Thiago, people must find out why we are so important. I must go be collected in human Thomas Brock sample that he is collecting. The princess got to the sampling collection on time. There, she got to explain how their tag polymerase can help with PCR.